From the new 4-minute look into the creation of the upcoming Godzilla anime film, to a big new partnership for Crunchyroll, I'm your host, Anime Sam, and this is Any News. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Annie News. So before we get started, I'd just like to thank everyone once again for helping me grow this channel so quickly. Like it really is amazing to see that people are interested in the content that they create, so uh, yeah, thank you. And also, in order to appeal to a wider audience, I'd like to know what you guys would like to see in terms of like anime content. So there's obviously a clear difference between my news videos and my analysis vids, so I'd just like to see what specifically you'd like to see from me. So just let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely take into consideration making a video on it regardless of what it is. Alright, now let's get into the first topic for today, which is uh, the 4 minute look that we got into the creation of the upcoming anime Godzilla film. So this video wasn't subbed which is really unfortunate, but there are a few things that you can take away from it. You get to see the two protagonists, as well as get a potential look into what Godzilla may look like in the film. You can also see a lot more variety in terms of the backgrounds that they'll be using for the settings of the movie since there was a lot of concept art in the video. Also, here's a little bit more information on the series as a whole. So, the Godzilla anime films, yes I said films because they're doing three of them, they'll be released later in Japan in November, while global distribution is handled by Netflix. So anyway, the trilogy will be taking place in the year 2048, and follow humans that escaped Earth after Godzilla and other kaiju wiped out almost the entirety of the human race. So that's why the terrain and the environment from the concept art look so different. So then we have Haruo, who is the main character who vows to go back to Earth to destroy the monsters that killed his parents an odd 20 years ago. And already we're reminded that it's an anime because what's an anime without a tragic backstory? So Haruo leads fighters back to Earth, but in the years while they're away, Earth has aged over 20,000 years, and Godzilla basically owns the planet. So yeah, that's pretty much the story, and I think I'm more excited to see how they animate Godzilla rather than see how the story plays out because uh, the story seems kind of generic to me. Alright, now moving on, I got a trailer for another Netflix original anime called Blame, which I mentioned a few videos back as well, um, so if you want to see the full trailer, don't forget that links are always in the description. So there's also quite a few trailers today, so I'll try to make the plot summaries a little bit briefer than usual. Next up is the trailer for Junin Taisen, which is an anime adaptation of a light novel about 12 warriors who bear the names of the 12 Chinese zodiac that fight each other to be able to gain one wish. Or something like that. The synopsis is worded uh, very poorly, so uh, yeah. So this next one actually looks fairly interesting. It's called Vatican Kiseki Chosaken, and it's about an organization called Setonoza or the Assembly of Saints who carry out investigations of claims of miracles throughout the world to ascertain their credibility. I've been looking for a good mystery anime for a while now and this seems like it might be able to do the job, so it's set to release this summer. Now I've got a teaser trailer for that vintage anime making its return to the big screen as a movie, Mazinger Z. Just for background, apparently this show is considered the grandfather of the super robot genre since it featured the first mechanical hero to have a human pilot inside the cockpit, so it'll be pretty nice to see the roots of this genre revamped in this movie. Here's another anime that looks fairly promising. It's called Kakigurui, or Compulsive Gambler, which is about privileged students who attend an academy where the curriculum consists of rigorous gambling so that they can learn how to read people and make good deals. 
I think I'm just fond of this show because I feel like it's going to be like no game, no life, where everything will be decided by the outcome of a game, which is going to be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes up for this one. And it's set to premiere this summer as well. Next up, I got a short preview for the anime Clockwork Planet, and this is an anime adaptation of the light novel of the same name, and is set to release next week. I've already featured this one before, so I'll just leave it at that. Alright, I got two more for you guys. First up is the original movie, Kimi no Koe wo Todokitai, by Studio Madhouse. It seems to be a supernatural drama that will be released in August. The second and final trailer I have is for the show Armed Girls Mischievalism. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not quite sure. But this is a unique show I'd say, and uh, it's an action shonen about an all-girls school that becomes a co-ed one, and the girls out of fear ask and get permitted to bring weapons to school. So the girls made an enforcement group that corrects problematic students, and one of those happens to be the main character of the show. So this is set to air later this week. Moving on to the announcements, I've only got two for today. So first up, a new project for Kimono Friends was recently announced, and they left us this visual and logo. And second, Attack on Titan got confirmed to be only 12 episodes for this season. So the first episode should have aired a couple of days ago, and I'm kind of curious to see uh, what you guys thought. So did you guys like what you saw? Let me know. And now for the last story of the day. A recent article from Polygon revealed that Crunchyroll is making more moves to expand their reach on the community. They partner with Steam to be able to distribute titles from its anime catalog through the Steam client. So this was unveiled this weekend along with a big anime sale. Currently, there are about 20 popular shows available for purchase, including ReZero, Gintama, and Free. And you can buy seasons or individual episodes at a discount. So it's pretty good to see Crunchyroll trying to appeal to a larger audience because that helps to put more pressure on Netflix and Amazon to try to step up their game. And that means better content for us. Alright, so that's going to be it for my video today. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Also, I just want you guys to know that even though there is this YouTube boycott going on, that there may be a decrease in the amount of other people's content. But since, like, I don't really rely on that, you can expect the same consistent schedule for uploads from me. So thanks again, and until next time, ciao.